How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. And as always here at 2A News Now, you get your Second Amendment news straightforward and to the point with no BS added in. Those slimy little bastards at the ATF are at it again. At least they didn't kill somebody this time. But they arrested a man at his job in front of his co-workers. The problem is they arrested the wrong man. How does something like this happen? A South Carolina man went to work one morning. And to his surprise, there was multiple law enforcement agents there to arrest him for a crime he didn't commit. The gentleman's name is Brian Wilson, and this happened to him last December. A drug task force of officers from West Columbia, South Carolina, and the ATF arrested him in front of his co-workers after they accused him of trafficking in guns and drugs. Brian Wilson, during the entirety of this incident, said he was innocent to everyone he could tell from the police who arrested him. And the judge that charged him, no one would listen to him until a federal public defender who was assigned to represent him started looking into his story and found out that Wilson was actually telling the truth. The only person that believed Brian Wilson was his federal court appointed attorney, Jenny Smith. And after several hours, she was able to convince a federal prosecutor to double check the arrest to see if the ATF had the wrong man. After the feds had looked into it closer, they realized that they screwed up big time. They made a motion to drop all charges against Brian Wilson. The federal prosecutors apologized. U.S. Attorney Adair Burroughs apologized as well. But there is no mention of the ATF apologizing at all. But that's no surprise. We all know, according to them, they do nothing wrong. The federal judge in the case, Joe Anderson, granted a motion to dismiss the charges immediately with prejudice. That means the charges can't be brought against Brian Wilson again. No one ever explained how all of this happened. And this definitely needs to be added to the list of topics that ATF Director Stephen Dettelbach should have to answer for when the next time he makes an appearance in Congress. Brian Wilson is getting ready to file a lawsuit. Brian Wilson said he is a gun owner, but he's never dealt drugs or trafficked firearms, despite what law enforcement officials testified during his initial court appearance. At that hearing, a law enforcement officer falsely told a judge ATF had been watching Brian Wilson for 13 months and then listed dates. The ATF claimed he sold drugs. The agent also told the judge that the ATF had Brian Wilson on tape committing these crimes. But all of this is not true. After the hearing, Brian Wilson continued to tell his lawyer that law enforcement had made a big mistake. And as I mentioned earlier, after his lawyer put pressure on federal prosecutors. And after several hours, they realized they had made a mistake. They had screwed up. And Brian Wilson was set free. But according to Brian Wilson's lawsuit, he has suffered since he was arrested. He said he's been having migraines. Co-workers have been spreading rumors about him. He started getting unwanted messages on Facebook. Some of the rumors even said that he turned on other defendants. He's also stopped going to the gym and doing the training he always loved to do. He said fitness used to be his passion. He worries about his daughter finding out what happened. He said he also worries about his parents, especially about his mom, who now has paranoia and anxiety stemming from what happened and often calls her son while he's at work to check up on how he's doing. Brian Wilson officially hasn't filed his lawsuit against the ATF yet, but his attorney says it's going to happen. Once they've waited, they required six months before they can challenge the ATF actions. Under the Federal Tort Claims Act, the ATF will most likely be served with a lawsuit sometime in June, and it will most likely be in July, before the Department of Justice files its response, which will hopefully shed some light on how the ATF royally screwed this one up. Brian Wilson's attorney said, there's a number of reasons why they filed the lawsuit, and one of them is to find out exactly what the hell happened, because no one has explained to them how they screwed this up. They say usually law enforcement in the federal system take great care to identify people, the names they bring before a federal grand jury. Brian Wilson's attorney also said, from the very beginning, he was misidentified. So if Brian Wilson was misidentified, then who in the hell was the ATF surveilling for over a year? How did Brian Wilson pop up on the ATF radar when it was time to issue an arrest warrant if he wasn't the actual subject of the investigation? And what the hell happened to the person the ATF was supposed to arrest if Brian Wilson wasn't their man and was the actual subject? Ultimately identified and taken into custody? They've never been told that either. And big props to Brian Wilson for not letting this go. Did the U.S. Attorney's Office think they were going to get by just with an apology? 
and Congress should look into what happened to Brian Wilson and why. I think we will all agree when I say Brian Wilson deserves answers, and some heads should roll, and people should be fired, and Brian Wilson should receive millions of dollars in damages. But of course, they'll be going against Biden's Department of Justice. So we really don't know exactly how this happened. I don't know about you, but it sounds like there might have been some miscommunication between the local law enforcement and the ATF. And I'd like to hear in the comments if that's what you guys think as well. And if Brian Wilson does win this case, and he should, how much in damages should he receive? And as always, I appreciate everybody's support with the channel. You guys are always helping the channel out and helping it to continue to grow by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications. And I really, really do appreciate it. And I invite you to come back and watch my next video.